His mission statement was to create a project-oriented India. A project-oriented India means India which looks at larger time perspective than a short-term objective, than short-term perspective. In the case of traders' thinking, it's very short-term. You make a sale, you get something out of it. The human race is five to six million years old. The universe is about 13.8, 13.9 billion years. So the whole idea is sustainability, which makes India competitive in longer time duration. Not in shorter time duration, not to fire fight, not to do something which is only for short term. Projects are undertaking to build future, and the future is much longer than three years, four years, five years, 10 years. We should build societies for sustainability over hundreds of years. So we must view the end first, what we want to do, and then take the journey, begin. We must choose the right projects first, and then do the projects right. So PMA was created to bring the awareness in the society of the challenges in managing projects, in managing complexities, in aligning stakeholders. As a democratic country, our stakeholders are enormous. How to align them? How to create project leadership? The aim of PMA as a national association of project professional is to provide a platform through which we could share the best practices in managing change. And I think today we have 14 chapters. We have a lot of life members, a lot of companies, over 62 companies, who are our life members. Ministry of Road Transport and Highways and Shipping is also our member. So the main thing is to bring this awareness amongst the various stakeholders in the society to create the need of speedier deliveries, faster execution without any compromise in quality. We should be able to compress time, but the compression of time not at the cost of quality. A lot of qualifications, a lot of qualifications which we need to, like doctors have qualifications, degrees, Engineers, lawyers, chartered accountants, company secretaries, so do project managers must have. Project management, project managers have a career. A person who is not ready to take decisions cannot be a project manager. We have to take decisions having partial information. We can never have full information of the future. Past we know fully. But future is not fully known. And this is the kind of charter we have created for PMA, to create the awareness, to do due diligence in making what we want to do, to do good planning, to do risk management, to do risk assessment, to see what are the possibilities of doing it in the right way, what can go wrong, and to involve team building, to make people working together. And the PMA has now done quite well and is a member of IPMA. In 1995, the only <coughs> federal organization in the world, International Project Management Association, having 59 member associations from all over the world, from all the continents, is providing a platform to share the best practices in managing change, managing projects, managing programs, managing portfolios looking at behavioral component, technical component, and contextual components. IPMA's competency baseline, the unique in the world, on which they certify project professionals at different levels. Level A, level B, level C of IPMA, and level D, is to make sure profession gets right to exist, and to make sure the society, the business organization understand that this is a discipline in its own right. We have been very successful. We have been doing global symposiums since 92. First symposium, Center for Excellence in Project Management, which is a separate organization established in 92, and PMA 93 onwards. Together, the symposiums are done. 
it's the 21st to 22nd symposium. We bring people from all over the world. They share the best practices in a very cordial atmosphere, learning from the past, learning from mistakes. We have to have self-confidence to say, where did we go wrong? If nobody does mistake, something inherently wrong. If people expect that your decisions will be right all the time, I think there's something fundamental wrong. Because we take decision based not on complete information, but partial information, and we can go wrong. But we should learn from these mistakes, a debit entry, <coughs> the negative things, we should convert into positive. And the positive we can convert when we learn what not to do. And I think PMA and IPMA, I was very fortunate in the history of IPMA for 49 years. I happen to be the only first non-European <coughs> president in 2005-2006. I got a great opportunity to learn from Europe and from many other countries as what are they doing, what are they doing in terms of behavioral component, contextual component. It's not just technical knowledge. <coughs> it's just not tools and techniques which makes projects successful. What makes people, what makes successful projects is to build teams, to have human capital, to have edge factor, to make sure everybody's aligned too. And the team building is very, very essence on which PMA talks a lot in building projects. <coughs> One more thing. As regards to certification, as you mentioned, IPMA believed that qualification of a project manager must be based on competencies. Knowledge per se has no value. Knowledge per se is a scalar quantity. It has magnitude. But when you start applying knowledge in real life, in real applications, that is where we transform knowledge into competencies. Competency word has come from a Latin word, competica, which implies a person who has right to speak or right to judge. So competency ultimately is the key. And therefore IPMA's competency assessment is becoming now worldwide a major drive for the companies to equip their managers in that framework. For example, Elstom, multinational in France, Thales, they've all linked their competency development plan, managerial development plan, leadership development plan to IPMA, ICB, IPMA competency baseline, ICB framework, which talks about level A, certified project director, the highest level, level B, certified senior project manager, second level, level C, certified project manager, third level, and certified project management associate, the fourth level. These are competency based, especially ABC. China is far ahead than any other nation in the world, than any one of the 59 countries. 44% of certified project managers at level C are in China. 21,000 plus are in China out of 49,000. India, we have only 140. India must catch. We just cannot run projects based on our experience. We have to have qualified people to run projects and complex projects. And projects are going to be more and more complex. The stakeholders are more demanding. We need to take this seriously as a carrier. We need to bring this into management schools. China has over 100 10 a master's program in project management, India none. China has over 120 plus programs at the undergraduate level in project management, India has none. So we got to catch up this. We got to get away from the complacency that we know all. We have to learn together. We have to see how we get ourselves equipped with the best practices. So India has a great challenge and my presidency as an honorary president for 21 years. I am very proud, lot of success stories, lot of companies are now moving ahead. Though we may be very behind China in the assessment based competency, which is the only model available today, 
but I am sure under the leadership of the new government, we shall able to catch up fast. And the reason why we call it ABC, if you ask me this question, is because if there are 59 countries, there are so many different languages, English, German, French. So we cannot give one acronym. And therefore, we divide, we, we, we say ABC, A being the highest. And depending on your own language, you can create acronym, acronym equivalent in your language. In English, we call, let's say, A, as I mentioned before, Certified Projects Director, highest level. China is number one at the level A. They have 125. India is 18. As on 1st January 2014. And Germany is number two. They have 75 level A's, which is the highest. India, we need to have top people going through this whole exposure of IPMA competency framework covering behavioral, technical, and contextual. It's not exam-based. The exam-based qualification or certification is not of much relevance. It's like high school level. You go through A, B, C, D choice. Some have negative exam, negative marking, some do not. But basically, it is a competency assessment. How did you apply your knowledge into real life? And what did you learn from it? So I would say China is number one at level A, number one at level C. At level C, China's for 21,000 is equivalent to six, seven advanced European countries, Austria, France, Germany, Sweden. We need to catch up. We need to catch up. And mostly, uh, you know, the quest to learn, quest to learn. How do we learn more? How that can take place once we know that we need to learn. If we think that our bucket is full, then there is no need to get more water. It is our imagination that the bucket is full. It's not true. In the quest of our seeking truth, we have a long way to go. We should be humble. We should be modest. We should be good students to seek truth, to build teams, to achieve what we wanted to achieve to build a society which is sustainable, to see ultimately the customers at the end. Whatever we do, customer focus should always remain as a top priority. Any transaction which happens is for the good of customer. So that is a very high level of uh, what I call customer joy. We need to be very clear in that. So there's one thing which I would like to mention, that PMA is on the right path. I have become now the already President Emeritus from 1st January. The new managing committee is formed. A new president will come from next year. So I'm very pleased to say that my honorary services for 21 years for building a great Indian society, to some extent, to a large extent maybe, is fulfilled, but still we have to go a long way. After eight years in Canada, from 65 to 73, when I came back, First time I started working with the computer, my first inning was bringing computerization in India. I used to work for a very large computer company in, in Canada. And now since 92, I'm now in the project management area. I'm very happy that in 1991, Dr. S.T. Sharma, former president of the Republic of India, honored me with the fellowship award for laying a strong IT foundation for India. And today India is known IT. And I'm sure the work which we have done, the work I have done tirelessly with passion is to bring, to create Project Tour in India. And I am sure in many, in a couple of years, in five to ten years, with the help of the agenda which is set up now under the new government, under the Prime Minister Narendra Modi, which, which, who means business, who means deliveries, who means speedy deliveries, who means to create competitiveness in India by making India slogan. And that competitiveness can come if we have a project mindset. If we have no time issues, no cost issues, look at the future, build teams, work together, India will be different India in time to come. I have least doubt about it. Okay?